Hi, what's your name? Hey, hi, hi. Um, so everyone, welcome to Rocket Stove 2021. And this is the most important uh, talk that I'm gonna give because this is something that can be done to really improve a stove that uh, is easy. And so this is about skirts. This is about constant cross-sectional area. And what Dr. Winiarski and Dr. Baldwin mean by that is that the flow through your stove has to keep the same river of air flowing without making it go faster or slower. We want the gases to be as hot as possible and to be as fast as possible. So when Larry looks at a stove, he wants to put a skirt, a cylinder of steel around the pot, creating a gap that forces the hot gases around the side of the pot, not just hit, to hit the bottom. And so the way that he does that is, he figures out, all right, how big is the opening to my stove, the door? How big is the riser? And then he makes the skirt have that same area around the pot. Okay, so we have now put the skirt around the pot. This is an adjustable skirt, and this is making a gap of 10 millimeters and forcing the hot gases to hit the bottom and then go up and scrape against the sides of the pot, decreasing the fuel that we use for cooking. And we do the same thing with the top of the stove. So it's amazing how often people forget that the same thing has to happen for the top. The hot gases come up and then because the pot is sitting right on top of that top, the gases are coming up and they have room directly above the riser and then they're forced to scrape against the pot in a eight mm gap at the side of the stove. So, it's really important to remember that you have to keep constant cross-sectional area as well on the top of your stove. Here's my favorite stove. The pot is submerged down into the stove and we have created a skirt inside of the of the stove, forcing the hot gases to come up in that same, in this case, it's a six mm gap. And then the gases go up and then down to the chimney. And the chimney is below the bottom of the pot. What that does is, uh, Dr. Winiarski was so smart that he um, made this where the gases come up, then go over and down. And so the inside and the outside of the skirt is close to the same temperature, which means it's really good insulation. And then it goes out the chimney. So a submerged pot like this, can get you up in the 45, 50% heat transfer range. And there, any stove is so much better because of the increased heat transfer from submerged pots. Here is the gap. And when the pot goes inside the submerged stove, the gases come up that very, that six mm gap. And then they go down the outside of this steel cylinder to the chimney. And I will show you with this big pot. Now, my favorite stove, made by SSM, works. Okay. And Sam, we can do the same thing with a wok. The wok fits inside here 
the gases come up, they hit the side of the wok, and then they go down to the chimney. And instead of using lots and lots of wood, we're actually saving probably close to 40% of the wood with the new submerged wok. Okay, now these are rocket stoves too, everybody. Rocket stoves, remember, are as much about improved heat transfer as they are with the combustion chamber. So uh, look at the 10 design principles that Dr. Winiarski did, and you'll see that a lot of it is using less wood too. And so here's one that Sam and I made. Uh, the wok is sits down and then the gases are uh, following that rule of constant cross-sectional area. The gases come up, go through this gap, down below the walk, and then out the chimney. And so here's the 20 inch walk that uh, follows that same shape as um, that we made underneath. And so the gases are being forced to scrape against the surface instead of going out and heating the room. And so here we are with a 45% thermal efficient walk. All right, this is one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, this was done by Dr. Sam Baldwin in 1987. And so it is, I would say, very close to being correct. Uh, close enough that the differences don't matter. What we're seeing here is that how to make um, more heat go into the pot and use less fuel is known. I mean, it's been known for a long time. So this is 50% thermal efficiency. Whoa, amazing. 40, 30, 20. An open fire is maybe 20. And so if we can get up to 40, then we have used half of the fuel, everybody. And it's not that hard. All you have to do is have the correct gap between the skirt and the pot. And the skirt has to have a certain length. All right. So if we want to get 40% thermal efficiency, check this out. So the skirt has to be 15 centimeters long and have an 8 mm gap to achieve 40% thermal efficiency. Now, in Aprovecho, we're going for as good as we can get. So we'll do a 6 mm gap. And our um, skirts are only 10 centimeters tall. And we frequently get around 50% thermal efficiency uh, when the fire is very hot. So it's really not hard to make any stove use at least half of the wood compared to an open fire. Here is the chart. Uh, again, if you make the channel gap between the pond and the skirt 8 mm, and, and we just do 10 centimeters high, so it's not very high, uh, maybe four inches, um, then you can use half of the wood. So go for it, world, go for it. Look, a big pot. Yeah. Look, Johnny, a big pot. Johnny, is the pot hot? Look, is it hot? Yeah. Oh, pot hot. It's not hot yet. No, it's now it's not hot. It's, it's empty. Hot. Now it's cold because we haven't put it on the fire yet. Yeah. yeah, this is the top, and that goes on the pot. Yeah. Look at that <laughs> top pot. Yep. 